Mulan's Lunar New Year, written by Natasha Yim and illustrated by Sophie Lee. It's the day before Lunar New Year, Mulan's favourite festival, and the Far household is hustling and bustling with activity. Mulan leaps out of bed, but her legs get tangled up in the quilt, and she lands on the floor with a thud. This is not a lucky start to the new year, she thinks. She quickly untangles herself and hurries to her wardrobe. Now that Mulan is seven years old, she can finally help with the preparations. Grandmother Far walks into Mulan's room and says with a laugh, I like your originality. Mulan blushes as she notices that she's put her clothes on backwards. I think you might need some extra luck today, Grandma says smiling. Everything you do during the New Year festival brings you good luck, or not. So, here's a little red for luck, eh? Grandmother says, as she places a sprig of flowers behind Mulan's ear. After readjusting her clothes, Mulan runs into the garden to help her mother gather flowers. Fresh flowers welcome the birth of the New Year, Mama reminds her. They bring happiness and prosperity. Together, they carry the flowers from the garden and place them in vases around the house. Mulan wants to sniff every bloom, and so does little brother. Crash! Oh no! Mulan cries. This is really not a lucky start to the new year. Mulan grabs a broom and begins to sweep up the mess. Don't worry, Mama says. We'll sweep out the bad luck. Make sure you get all the broken pieces, though. We won't be able to sweep for a few days after the New Year starts, or we'll sweep away good luck. Why don't you come help me with the New Year decorations? Father suggests when he enters the room. Unlan brightens a little. She has been learning calligraphy and is eager to show her father how well she can write. Father hands Mulan some black ink and a paintbrush. She watches as he writes Fu, the Chinese character for luck, in perfect bold strokes. She likes how he always ends with a fancy twirl of his brush. Mulan dips her brush in black ink and carefully writes Fu. She tries to end with a fancy twirl of her brush too, but splat! Ink covers her decoration. Mulan grabs another piece of paper to try to soak up the ink, but the more she tries, the worse it gets. Tears spring to Mulan's eyes. Her decoration is ruined. Ah, Mulan, no need to cry, father says softly. When we face a tall mountain, there's always a way through. Why don't we try again? So, Father and Mulan paint more decorations, and then hang poems around the house. The fool is upside down, Father, she says when he hangs up her decoration. I'll fix it. It's meant to be that way, Mulan, he explains. The upside down fool means... Good luck will come to our family. Mulan sighs and walks out to the garden, feeling defeated. Everything I do is wrong. Maybe this is just not a good luck year for me, she says quietly. I wanted to be helpful, but maybe I ruined our luck. Mulan thinks she is alone, but Grandmother overhears her. Don't be sad, Mulan, she says, sitting down and taking her hand. Everyone makes mistakes, and luck can come in many different ways. I have an idea. Come with me. 
Maybe we'll find some luck. Grandmother takes Mulan to the nearby street market and they admire a dragon kite flying high in the sky. Do you want to fly one? Grandmother asks. Mulan nods enthusiastically and Grandmother buys her a beautiful kite. I bet you can fly yours higher, Grandmother says with a wink. But getting the kite into the air is harder than it looks. Oh no, my kite, Mulan cries. I think, Grandmother says, that kite flying is a two-person job. Together they untangle the strings, unfurl the kite in the breeze and watch as it floats in the sky. See how high it goes? Grandmother says. Now that's what I call good luck. As they continue travelling through the market, they spot some lanterns. Mulan picks a round lantern for Grandmother, a square one for her father, and one with tassels for her mother. Mulan likes the animal-shaped ones best, though, and for herself, she chooses her favourite, a dragon. Dragons are a symbol of power and good luck, and Mulan still thinks she needs all the luck she can get. It's time to go home and prepare our New Year's Eve feast now, Mulan, says Grandmother. Can I help make the dumplings? asks Mulan. Of course, replies Grandmother. I'll show you how to fold them up. The Far family steams fluffy white buns for happiness and reunion, makes dumplings for prosperity and cooks noodles for long life. I think we're finally ready for the feast, right? asks Mulan. Not quite, says Mama. First, we must pay our respects to the ancestors. Mulan helps her parents gather the food offerings for the ancestors. Now the ancestors can celebrate Lunar New Year too, her father says. On the way to the temple, Mulan accidentally drops one of the buns. I'm sorry, father. Will the ancestors be angry with me? Will this bring more bad luck? No harm done, he reassures her. The ancestors will never know. Well, it's about time, cries one of the ancestors happily. I hope the chicken isn't undercooked, another jokes. That incense smells good. I think it's lavender. Luna New Year is the best. Come, Mulan. It's our turn to eat, Grandmother says as they all sit down to enjoy a delicious New Year feast. And it's a good thing too. I'm starving, she says with a laugh. After dinner, Mulan heads to bed, dreaming of what Lunar New Year will bring, and hoping her luck will turn. On New Year morning, Mulan wakes up and discovers a special gift under her pillow. Xin Yang Kuai Le, father, says Mulan. Happy New Year! Xin Yang Kuai Le, Mulan, says father. May the New Year bring you great joy and happiness. Mulan looks out her window and sees that the Lunar New Year parade has begun. She runs out to watch the procession with grandmother, father and mama, following close behind her. In her rush to get to the parade, she trips over her skirt and falls down. Are you okay, Mulan? Mama asks, helping her up. Can my luck get any worse? Mulan wonders. Father quickly picks Mulan up and places her on his shoulders. Now you've got the best view in the house. Mulan smiles all the way to the parade. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Clang, clang, clang. As they walk further, though, Mulan has to cover her ears. Loud noises scare away evil spirits and the nyan, the fairy tale beast that lives high in the mountains, says her father, comforting Mulan. The beast is said to come down once a year to attack the villagers. Look, Mulan, Mama exclaims. It's time for the dragon dance. They cheer and clap as the dragon rides past them. The longer a dragon dances, the more good luck it brings, Mama tells Mulan. 
I do love Lunar New Year, Mulan says. Lighting the firecrackers, watching the parade with you. Not such bad luck after all? Grandmother Fa asks. Crackle, pop, bang! I think, Mulan says, good luck is having my family to share Lunar New Year with. The end.